The next question for you is, now see the table once again. The next question says, the entrance fee is as follows. For adult, it is rupee 15. For children under 12, it is rupee 10 and for children under 3, it is free. Okay. So, this is the entrance fee of a zoo. Okay. So, now it says that Shweta Her parents one sister of twelve years and two younger brothers. of three years went to the adventure park. Okay. Shweta is eleven years old. So, what is the total money spent? Okay. So, now they say that Shweta parents, one sister of 12 years, two younger brothers of 3 years went to the adventure park. So, how many people are there in total? Shweta is one, her parents two, which means three. 4, 5, 6 members went. So, but here they have given the slab rate also because the rate is not the same for everyone, right? So, how many adults are there? The parents are there, right? So, adults are 2. So, for 2, how? what is the fees amount? It is 15 rupees, right? So, 15 into 2 is how much? 5 twos are 10 and 3. So, it is 30 rupees for the adults. Now, you have to see for children who are under 12, that is 12 and below. So, how many are there? Shweta is 11 years and uh, her sister is 12 years, right? So, you have again two people of 12 years old and what is the rate here? Again, it is 10 rupees, right? So, 10 into 2 is 20 and then you have people who are under 3. So, how many are there? Her two younger brothers, right? And it is free. So, which means that they don't have any fees required. They don't have any tickets required. So, what is the total now? So, this will be nil. So, my total will be 3 plus 2 is 5. So, 50 rupees they have spent at the entrance to enter into the amusement park. Is it clear? Did you understand children? Okay. So, here we have the next set of questions. So, are you finding it interesting? It is easy to solve and we are doing all the calculations together, right? We are doing additions, in sum we are doing the subtraction and if required we are doing multiplication and division as well, right? So, the next question for you is, the price of color box is 24 rupees and that of a bag is 54. Okay. So, if the 
sale price is 50% or half in the shop what will be the discounted price okay so did you understand the question children the actual cost of the color box is 24 rupees and bag is 54 so now there is some sale happening in the shop and because of which they are giving 50% discount meaning whatever is the price they are just giving half the value of the price so now we need to calculate what will be the value of the box and the bag after discount okay so the first one is 24 rupees right so it is half half means you need to divide it by 2 so 12 ones are 2 ones are 2 2 two twos are 4 Yes. So the value of box will be twelve rupees, right? Now the next comes in the bag. So fifty-four divided by two. Two twos are four. Fourteen. Two sevens are fourteen, right? So the value of the bag is twenty-seven rupees now. So if you add, the total will be. Two plus seven is nine, and one plus two is three. So now the total value should be rupees thirty-nine. That is, thirty-nine will be the price after discount. So the answer will be rupees thirty-nine. Okay? Did you understand, children? So whenever you get the value wherein it says fifty percent or half, it means that you have to divide that number by two. Clear? Shall we move to the next question? Okay. So here is your next question. Your next question says, Shikha has, Shikha has two fifty rupee note. One hundred rupee note. Five two rupee coin. Okay. So after giving party, after giving the party, she is left with. One fifty rupee note. So, how much did she spend for the party? So did you understand the question here? It says that Shika has two fifty rupee notes. So which means that two into fifty is equals to how much? Fifty into two zero five two is a ten. So which means that she has hundred rupees with her, and she one hundred rupee note. She had one hundred rupee note. So again she had hundred into one hundred, and five two rupee coin. So five two rupee coin, so which is ten rupees. So how much she had in total? Zero, one, one plus one is two. So she had a total of two hundred and ten rupees with her. Now the question says, after giving the party, she is left with one fifty rupee note. So which means that once the party was over, she was left with only. One 
50 rupee note. So, 0, 11 minus 5 is 6 and 1. So, which means that how much did she spend? She has spent rupees 160. She spent rupees 160 for the party. Understood how? First, we need to find out what is the total value she had with her and then after that, whatever amount is left with her, we had subtracted it from the total. That will give us the answer that what is the amount which she has spent for the party. So, are you clear children? Shall we move with the next question? Yes. 